guys going? Coming at you again with episode 48 of our Philadelphia Phillies MLB Zero 20 franchise mode. 2021 NLCS Game 7 series is tied 3 all after Jamison tying on blanks. The LA Dodgers threw seven innings in the last episode. The Bullpen came in on two hits. The yeah, experience is pretty funny just because Tyon went seven, allowed one hit. Probably could have gone in and pitched a little longer, but no. But we will not be pulling any stops this game. No pitch limits this game. You know, Tyon did go in on short rest the last episode. But Nola is on full rest Set this game, so hopefully we can secure the bag. You know, get that, you know, get that W. Clayton Kershaw so far in the postseason, two starts, he's 2-0 with a 132 ERA, 13 innings pitch, 9 hits, a 110 whip, 6 walks to 15 punch outs. Honestly, the walks is what's going to end up winning Philadelphia this game. And we got one. Four or five walks last episode, and if we can rally off some walks right there against Clint's gonna run that pitch count out, but you also have to run a pitch count up. A uh, home run by Bryce Harper he gives Philadelphia that one nothing lead in the top of the first inning. Bryce Harper right there, his first of the game, 34 feet, 106.6 off the bat. He's batting 293, so he has gotten that average up a little bit, but he's still, for being paid 30 million, it's not actually, it's like 25 million, he's still not where you want it to be. Maybe that's Reese Hoskins batting average at 293. Uh, but Hoskins going to get that one off the wall. He's going to have himself a nice one out stand up double. So Kershaw getting rattled early so far. As Adam Hazel catches that one, sends that one to the right center field gap. Hoskins already crosses the plate, and that ball is going to sneak over the wall in right center field. Adam Hazley, two-run home run, his first of the game. 406 feet, 101.9 off the bat. So the Phillies are popping here in the first inning. Jump out to a very, very early three-run lead. And Philadelphia. He needs to take this lead and not give it up. That is going to be the big part of this game, just like last episode. But second home run of the game for Philadelphia. As now Nola going to get them out in two games. He's one out to the 27 year old. He's pitched 13 hits, a 136 whip, two walks to 18 punch shots. So the punch shots are there for Nola. He's become definitely a big strikeout pitcher, but that earned run average is not the greatest right now. Uh, but Yasio Puig up and Puig goes down via the changeup right there. Nola to get the W this game is going to need to use a storm of, of his off speed pitches. Can not rely on the fastball. As Corey Seals might chop that down the third baseline. Alec Bohm charges, fires two first, not in time. See it. Will beat it out for an infield single. Cody Bellinger up now on belly. Gonna get that one. Two. Second base right there. It's not going to be a double play, though. He's going to beat it out for I guess a field of choice. And now no walking Max Muncy right there. So two men on, two outs. And no went from cruising this inning. Now I'm going to extra batters. Bryson Stott up now against Clayton Kershaw and Stott. Going to get that one past the second baseman right there. Probably could have dove for it. Uh, but no dive out at second base. Now Stott ends up on first base safely. James McCann up now. McCann goes down via the punch out. Just watch that high fastball sail right by him. Now Andrew McCutcheon up. McCutcheon, player of the game last episode. Going to get uh, uh, Bryson Stott to score right there on a two-out single to center field. So Phillies lead 4-0 now. As Cody Hosey up, 2-2 two -two count. And Hosey going to get that one, two. Fly out to Andrew McCutcheon in left field for a 1 2 3 inning. So, 3 up, 3 down, 4 0. 3 2 count to Alex Bohm and Bohm. Connect to that one. Not watching the fastball go by him this time. That one was right over the middle of the plate. But Bohm going to give himself a perfect, perfect one out double. So, 
Uh, man, I'm scoring position for Adam Hazley, and Hazley, no doubt that one. Slider, cup and away, and Hazley just deposits that one into right through there. His second home run of the game, a two-run blast, as Adam Hazley has blown this game wide open. Philadelphia has extended their lead six to nothing right now. As two more runners have crossed the plate, gets to replay this one right here. And Hazley just slider hit the bat. That was a barrel of the bat finder slider. That one carried a very long way. See that person just walking through. And uh, yeah, they were unfazed by that home run right there. Dave Roberts seen enough of his starter Kershaw. Very short outing. Not the Kershaw you want to see him this out. I mean, he was doing great. But playoff Kershaw had to make an appearance in game seven with everything in line. Blake Trinan comes in. So Trinan, who pitched in last game, didn't don't believe he left any runs, but in three games he has pitched three and two thirds in. He has a 491 ERA. One strikeout, lefties and righties. They're both hitting fairly well against the veteran. And now he's going to get Bryce and Stott to pop up. So that's going to be it for Trinan's inning right there. Not even three innings pitched by Kershaw as Nola takes the mound now. That's going to be a single. It's going to probably be a double now, actually. McCutcheon gets too quickly. Actually keeps it to a single right there. Throw pulls Henry off the bag. But a lead off single. You see how Puig up now. And Puig goes down via the punch out. His second strikeout of the game, and Nola's second strikeout. Bellinger up now, and Bellinger connects to that one. It's actually Blake Trinan who got that single. Uh, but Bellinger pauses that one in the Phillies bullpen right there. Narrows the lead to four runs. 397 feet, 100 miles off the bat. And that was what we need to avoid. A Cody Bellinger home run right there. And this... This is a very dangerous lineup. I get understand his players are a little older now. You know, Bellinger, Muncie. You now they're a little on the older side now, but they're not super old. But I don't know. We just need to avoid finding barrels. Max Muncie up now, 3 2 count. And Muncie connects with that one. And the lead has been cut in half. A solo shot, 439 feet. 107.9 off the bat on the Muncie long ball to left field. Nola relying on that fastball right now, it seems like. Needs to stick to the off speed stuff for the 3 2 count. Just needed something, couldn't risk walking Muncie again. But Muncie high fives all around in the Dodgers dugout. You hate to see it. Jock Peterson up now, and Peterson goes down via the fastball. So after after laps and home runs, Nola goes back to the fastball, and it looks like the winner of this game will be taking on the Boston Red Sox in the World Series. 3-2 count to McCutcheon. McCutcheon going to give himself a two-out single. So Trinan doing his best, but just not, uh, not doing it right now. Can't quite finish his inning off, it seems like. McCutcheon going to three, and he's going to be in there safely on the Bryce Harper single. Yadier Alvarez comes in after a rough inning by Nola. Posting so far, he's 1-0. He's uh, one game, he's 0-1. Six innings pitch, a three ERA. Seven punch outs, two, one walk. Alvarez had a pretty good rookie campaign since being called up. Uh, but since the All-Star game, more or less had a... A downward spiral at one point with 7-0 and kind of finished the season off not on the greatest term. But in six games for Ross Stripling as he's going to make an appearance. He's 4-5 and saves. 4.2 in his pitch. 1-I-3 ERA. Two walks, two strikeouts. Levy and Ryan's both batting under 200 against him. But he's going to get a strikeout right here of Adam Hazley. Hazley already has two homers on the game. You know, need to keep him from hitting his third. Scotty K up now. And Kingery 3-2 count. And Kingery Goes down on the inside fastball there. He thought he had ball four. Uh, but Ross Stripling gets out of the inning. Now, Yaya Alvarez out for a second inning of work. And Alvarez going to pick up the punch shot right there of Corey Seager. 
Now Bellinger up now, 3-1 count, and Bellinger sends that one deep to right field. That's going to be Bellinger's second home run of the game. A no-doubt shot, 434 feet, 113.5 off the bat. I don't think I've ever seen a home run hit harder than 112, and that Bellinger home run was 113. Wow, that is a very hard hit ball right there, if I do say so myself. Uh, but, James McCann up now, Phillies lead down to two, and McCann going to get called out on a very controversial call right there. It's definitely a pitcher's call, but Yada Evers day is done as Brock Holt will be coming in to pinch hit for him. 1-2 count to Holt, who's batting 667, and Holt connects with that one, sends that one deep to right field. Does he have himself a pinch hit home run? And uh, no, that was a deep fly out to Yasiel Pui. All right, Zach Wheeler in in one game. No wins, seven innings pitch, six uh, six strikeouts, three walks. Right, he's batting 389, while left he's batting 100 flat. Gavin Lux, the lefty up now. And Lux going to get that one in the left center, uh, right center field gap right there. Hazley can't quite cut it off, going to roll the wall. That's going to be a one-out triple for Kevin Lux. Throw home prevents the run from scoring. Next batter up, and that run will score. And Zach Wheeler comes in and just absolutely does not do what we need Wheeler to do. That's going to be <laughs> Phillies lead down to one now. And a deep fly home run right here. McCutcheon plays it to the wall, jumps, not in time though, can't bring it in. That's going to be Cody Cozy of all people going to give the Los Angeles Dodgers their first lead of the game. 379 feet, 98.6 off the bat. You hate to see it, you really do. Not Joe Girardi does not know what to do right now. Every pitcher he's put in so far has been hit around. Chris Taylor pinch hitting for the pitcher and the Dodgers crowd now is definitely in this game. Something we did not want to happen but Wheeler does get the punch out right there of Taylor. So now finally two outs in the inning. Pedro Baez in in six games. He's 5.1 innings pitched. 338 ERA, 8 strikeouts to 2 walks. Lefties and righties are both batting sub 250 against them. And McCutcheon goes down via the punch shot right there. So McCutcheon, quite possibly his last at bat in Philadelphia. Top of the 7th. Still, 3 2 count in Harper. Got him to get himself a nice one out single with the count full. Reese Hoskins up now, and Hoskins goes down via the low slider right there, chasing in the dirt one of Baez's best pitches. Edebre Ramos coming in now for some unbeknownst reason. I'm assuming Baez was just feeling fatigued due to having probably pitched every game in this series, especially after being hit around in game six. But Ramos in seven games, 1-0. Very good ERA. As Alec Bohm going to get that one into... The love of the shortstop is going to be a force out at second. Jamison Tyon on yet again after pitching yesterday on one day's rest. In three games, we need him to be lights out. And right there, that is not what we wanted. Deep fly home run. Harper jumps. Can not bring it in. That's going to be Cody Bellinger's third home run of the game. Was it the wisest to bring in Jamison Tyon after he pitched seven innings in game six? That's the question that's going to be asked after this game if Philadelphia cannot pull out a miracle. Uh, but Adam Hazley up now and Hazley doing his best Cody Bellinger impression hits his third home run of the game. Sends that one deep into the night right there. So two players, three home runs this game each. I don't, I'm not sure if there's been a crazier game in NLCS history 
but this game seven is going to go down as a surefire classic. As Hazley sitting down 429 feet to right field, definitely cleared that short wall down the foul line. But replay down, where does that one end up? That's going to end up deep. It's up a couple rows up in the stands, about five or six rows deep. Now Scotty K up now and Kingery chases the high fastball for the punch up. First shot of the game for Brandon Marlowe, who could have brought it inside, but now we're facing him. Bryson Stott up now and Stott going to get that one. Two fall, one hops off the wall. It's going to die right there in the warning track. Stott, he's pretty quick, 77 speed. Going to get himself a one out triple. As we now have a man scoring position, and in will come Dylan Floro. Floro still perfect on the season. He shut down Philadelphia in game six when they were on a roll. But momentum in Philadelphia's way right now. Can we get to Floro? That is what we need to do. As McCann singles up the middle, the first run given up by Floro this postseason. As this game has now tied, McCann probably never had a bigger hit in his career as the big lefty power bat Daniel Polka comes up now. And Polka going to ground that one to the first base in the next Muncie for a double play. Christopher Sanchez comes in. Sanchez, a decent season, but has struggled so far the postseason. One loss in two games, a 6.75 ERA in four innings pitched. We need regular season Christopher Sanchez right now, and that is not what we're getting. That's going to be a line drive to the gap. Double at least. Hazley gets there quickly. Runner going to third. That's going to be a lead off stand up triple. That is not what you want to see right there. One, two count. It's going to be a pop up to right field. Bryce Harper settling under it. Bryce Harper. With the play, he can't get it out of the glove, and Harper's throw is offline. A sack fly. AJ Pollock in now, the lefty pinch hitting. All right, can lefty on lefty. We need Sanchez to shine right now. As he's going to get that out. Kenley Jansen in for the save. Can he lock down Philadelphia? In four games, he's four and three innings pitched, no ERA, eight punch outs. McCutcheon makes that nine punch outs as he goes down for the first out in the inning. Reese Hoskins, 2 2 count. Hoskins, chopper two, second baseman. That's going to be throw over to the first baseman, Max Muncy, in time as Dave Roberts is going back to the World Series for the third time in his career as the manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers pull out a miraculous victory here. Philadelphia left stunned in the visitors dugout right now. NLCS champs, Los Angeles Dodgers. I mean, they had the better season. They were the better team coming into this series. They were the better team top to bottom. There's no taking away what LA has done with this team and with everything else they've done in this series so far. Bellinger, you know, player of the game, three home runs. We could have gone to Adam Hazley if Philadelphia found a way to come out with the victory. But Philadelphia going home early. Next episode will be the off season, and hopefully. Hopefully you figure out something to do with this uh, with this bullpen or with this rotation just to solidify it because back to back years we have gone home we've gone home early we've gone home not the champions so Philadelphia is still for its first World Series ring since 2008 Bob Bellinger played the game three four three home runs four RBI so if you can hit that like button comment down below. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. We do upload every show content five days a week, every Tuesday through Saturday. Fun text on YouTube. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super duper classy. Have a great day. And hashtag free Joe Kelly. Just saying. He's the best.